Out of all the things I find to Duong, it had to be my small obsession. Ube Mizume Pretty Derby is a side games franchise about girls. Girls who are horses. Girls who are horses, but actually famous race horses. And also idols. Table Derby is a tabletop role-playing game about those horse girl idols and the races they take part in. To put it simply, it's a racing game, but that would undersell the light system a bit. So let's start from the top, but we need a character first. Therefore, we have three options. Option A is one of the pre-made characters, such as Special Week, Sile Suzuka, Gold Ship, or Tokai Taiyo. Option B, however, is a scratch build. A little stranger, as there are technically 31 unique Uma Mizume from the series in this game, each with their own very special skill. But you'll need to assign individual stats to each of them. But let's make our own character. Obviously, we'll need to employ the best horse available, Pate to O's. First thing is to select one of the generic Uma Mizume skills. Skills form the beating heart of the light system. These special powers, abilities, and talents allow the Uma Mizume to push beyond their limits and race better. Some of these are horse-specific ones, are things such as the Stormbreaker, which adds plus two to all judgments when weather is in play. Potatoes is taking pride of a distinguished family, though, for a bonus due to all her expertises. This leads me into class, type, and cover. Each of these define the demeanor of the horse girl, with class and type giving the initial stat spread. These stats are race, training, condition, mental, friend, and gossip. And most of them will be around 2 to 0. Nothing too high, but they are added to very few roles. Finally, we fill in a few sections, and ta-da! We've made a character. Well, this is pretty simple, but how does the game actually play? I present to you the Ume Mizume Judgment Table. Or the Ki Ai Gauge. Most of every single action you do is going to be building up Ki Ai, your fighting spirit, which directly impacts the role you're going to make on every single judgment. There are diminishing returns later on though. As of after 10, the dice begin to fall off, with 15 being a bit glue-worthy. However, the main section of the game is divided between the drama and the race. The drama scenes are rigidly split between each of the Uma Mizume as they deal with a randomly dealt out a negative event, many of these requiring an expertise check to overcome, but notepad, these seem pretty fucking brutal. Well, you can bring your friends in for friendship trading, adding a plus 1d6 and boosting Kiai for everyone. If you succeed, awesome! You get a training skill for everyone involved. If you fail though, that modulation is going to stick with you for the rest of the session. They are all horrific. This leads to the holiday phase. Everyone will get their last second chance to get rest in, go on outings, or even head to the infirmary. But this is just before the race, so let's get to that part. Each race takes place on this handy little map here, and is divided into four rounds. Start, second corner, third corner, and before the goal. Fun fact, there are actually only two real rounds. The start and before the goal are actually pretty unique. When the race starts, each of the Yuma Mizume will be rolled for their starting positions, jockeying to take the lead, front, back, or getting stuck last. Each of these positions having different values associated with them for increasing ki -ai and the final bonus. However, whoever is in the lead is going to need to pick the pace for round two. Slow, middle, and high all give various amounts of problems and situations for everyone involved. Heavier penalties, more ki anything. When two or more girls attempt to compete for the limited space, they'll roll off. Whoever succeeds maintaining the position as the other is forced to fall back, all while gaining ki of course. During the entire race, the girls are firing off all of their training skills, which they should have at round two to four at this stage. These allow them to get bonus moves, hellish attacks, or allowing them to lower their ki just a little bit. But just about every skill, you guessed it, raises ki making that intoxicating ideal position harder and harder to get. If you ever exceed 15, you'll fault, potentially scoring a permanent debuff at the end of the race. But if you ever lose motivation, you'll crash down to being rolling only a single d6. As for the final turn, what well, just before the goal, every girl throws down their final skills and makes their final judgment roll. Whoever scores the highest, is going to win, but every turn you're in lower positions, you'll be getting a stacking penalty to this final check. And that's it. One final judgment, take it or leave it, all chips down. At the end, everyone cheers. Whoever wins is going to be in the winning live as the center of the idol formation, and someone probably gets sent to the glue factory. You're, you're allowed to take a skill when you into your next session, but little else outside some minor bonuses for leveling up. Table Derby 2 is a pretty unique game, one that you can fully play in about an hour with friends and set up epic Episode 2 almost immediately. One that has the lightning fast pace of the horse races, and that's actually it. Is there something in depth?
in-depth mechanics going behind the scenes. No, you won't actually be rolling those expertises very often, rarely even. Most of the time, they'll be used for the odd negative event or the horse girl with a gun trying to murk you. The game is purpose-built for rapid, episodic stories, often with the characters of the franchise. So I ask of you this, do you like Pretty Derby? And I mean really like Pretty Derby. If you do, then check it out. It can't hurt to live your dreams as a horse girl and fight off the Yakuza to enjoy your sick fantasies. If you're not vibing with that, then maybe not. But it's an enjoyable distraction, if anything. My name is Notepad Anon, and this was Table Derby 2. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, many thanks to Plutocrats. As always, all the links will be in the description. And now, I think it's time to face my demons.